The Northrop McDonnell Douglas YF-23 is an American single-seat twin-engine stealth fighter aircraft technology demonstrator designed for the United States Air Force USA. The design was a finalist in the USA's Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF competition, battling the Lockheed YF-22 for a production contract. Two YF-23 prototypes were built, nicknamed Black Widow 2 and Grey Ghost. The UIF-23 was designed to meet USAF requirements for survivability, supercruise, stealth, and ease of maintenance. Supercruise requirements called for prolonged supersonic flight without the use of afterburners. The USAF changed the runway length requirement to 3,000 feet, 910 meters, so thrust reversers were no longer needed. This allowed the aircraft to have smaller engine nestle housings. The nacelles were not downsized on the prototypes. The UIF-23 was an unconventional-looking aircraft with diamond-shaped wings. The UIF-23 was designed to meet USAF requirements for survivability, supercruise, stealth, and ease of maintenance. Supercruise requirements called for prolonged supersonic flight without the use of afterburners. The USAF changed the runway length requirement to 3,000 feet, 910 meters, so thrust reversers were no longer needed. This allowed the aircraft to have smaller engine nacelle housings. The nacelles were not downsized on the prototype display. 67 feet 5 by 20.60 meters, wingspan 43 feet 7 in 13.30 meters, height 13 feet 11 in 4.30 meters, wing area 900 feet 88 meters to. The flight control services were controlled by a central management computer system. Raising the wing flaps and ailerons on one side and lowering them on the other provided roll. The V-tail fins were angled 50 degrees from the vertical. Pitch was mainly provided by rotating these detail fins in opposite directions, so their front edges moved together or apart. The UIF-23 in retrospect, an ATF that could carry a diverse air-to-ground weapons load, including munitions capable of taking out large and well-fortified targets and especially a fighter that had better kinematic. Each missile had its own one of these and could be launched freely regardless of the status of the other missiles in the bay. Maximum speed, 1650 up, able to fly high reach, 2124 km. Cruise speed, Mach 1.6, 1060 miles per hour, 1706 km. Super cruise at altitude, Range over 2,790 miles, over 4,500 kilometers. Combat radius 920 miles, 800 million, 1480 cap. Service ceiling 65,000 feet, 19,800 meters. Wing loading 54 pounds to 265 kilograms to two. Thrust weight 1.36. YF-23 Black Widow Lina using Canon 1x 20mm, 79 in. Yaw was primarily supplied by rotating the tail fins in the same direction. Test pilot Paul Metz stated that the YF-23 had superior high angle of attack AOL performance compared to legacy aircraft, with trimmed AOL of up to 60 degrees. Four generations of stealth preceded the design concepts for the first stealthy air to air fighters. To survive in the current air combat environment, the new designs combine stealth and high maneuverability with a long-range supercruise capability. In addition to shape, these aircraft needed to prevent detection from radio transmissions, heat from the engines, and other forms of energy detectable by specialized ground sensors. The seeker heads on the side windows would deploy into the slipstream at an angle once the side bay doors are open and before locking on and firing off their mounting rail at the enemy. The AIM-120s would be punched out of the ventral bay using a pneumatic trapeze-like vertical launcher. Northrop's IF-23, on the other hand, went with a far less straightforward weapons bay configuration. Instead of shallow, largely conformal bays, the YF-23 had a single coffin-like, cavernous weapons carrying cavity that ran from behind the cockpit, back into the area between the aircraft's widely spaced and very unique air intakes. The bay was covered by two very large outwardly swinging doors, 
and the interior of the bay was far deeper than the one found on the YF-22, but also a bit narrower overall. A big deep weapons bay is great for air-to-ground applications. This could add substantial weight and complexity to the design. At the same time, a big deep trough-like weapons compartment meant that the YF-23 could potentially carry substantial air to ground stores, including 2,000 pounds class weapons, and possibly even larger. Such a bay could also be subdivided for different types of off-smaller weapons to be carried at one time, 